Um, and when you, because you met in Panto, yes, and and did people think that you were Shirley Bassey? Yeah, they did. But you know, I was inspired by the first matchmaker mountain, those beautiful women. I, I care to feel I helped them, and they helped me open my heart a little bit more. Oh. Yeah. So then, when I went into Panto, I was a little bit more open. And I met him when he was coming out of a long-term relationship and we became friends first and then yeah. did, got together so at the end of March. for us that, that, yes. that changed your yes, approach? Yes, completely, completely. Because I was completely closed. I wasn't Were trusting you? at all. I, mean, I was. The, the dating world, it is scary. Yeah. At, at any age or any stage of your life, sort of putting yourself out there on the line to open your heart and find love, it puts you in quite a vulnerable position, really. So... Extremely vulnerable. Yeah. And uh, just happy that I found somebody who's so kind, caring, understanding, loving. What and did you know? That? Did you know that? Because I just wondered, like, did you know straight away when you saw him or spent some time? Oh, I just watched the way he treated other people. And, yeah. you know, I thought I was kind of special. Everybody sure. that's in his life, it doesn't matter who he is, whether it's homeless people or he does a lot for charity. We're just on the same wavelength. And he's from Liverpool. Oh. <laughs> so it's just perfect. Just well, he's perfect, got some, perfect relationship. Uh, he, he has his ex, and you say that's another area where they were very dignified. With, yes, with he... very, very nice. I mean, he talked very, very highly of her, and I believe they had a, a beautiful 15-year relationship. You know, and it's their business at the end of mm. the day, but, uh, yeah, it's just... He talks but very he well of her. Has a little boy, young eight son. years old. He does, yes. And so, are you waiting until you're introduced and the time yeah. is right there? We'll wait till the time's right. But yeah. that is one of his main priorities. Is an amazing father. So. Well, it sounds like you're doing everything just <laughs> right. It really does. Although you did say, I think, quite recently, that you would you would consider marriage. <gasps> marriage. Do you? Would you? Would you? Are you too? You're like, this is amazing. I do. Oh, my I God, do. you are so loved up. I can't Am believe I? it. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're exploding with love. Just, you know, it's when you get to my age, it's very difficult to find somebody you're compatible with. And in every facet of every part of our life, we're compatible. So and that's just he, amazing for me. If you were to propose, then you would definitely say yes. <sighs> Have you talked about it? Well, now we're going a bit far now, all right? You know, you're making me excited. <laughs> you started it. Well, watch this space, you know. Let's we'll see what happens. So, uh, if uh, if there is a cloud nine, <laughs> what cloud are you? I'm on? way above that. I don't. I'm oh. just somewhere out in the. I've lost the plot. I thought you were going to do a whole <laughs> group to start jumping along. Well, I was, but the minute. furniture was <laughs> lovely, and I have high heels on. <laughs> and you're doing panto with him again this we year? We are in Darlington. Yes, he yeah. plays flesh creep, the villain, and I pay the good fairy. And that in the same characters when you first met, and he's. Yes. That's he's stored under that name in your phone. <laughs> Did you know that? Because I know everything. Yes, yes, he is stored in my phone as Flesh Creek. <laughs> my son said he will be forever known as Flesh Creek. There you go. Uh, there you go. Brilliant. So oh, that's, that's all looking really, really good. Lovely. And you are really going to good. do another series uh, of Matchmaker Matter for us, aren't you? And that was absolutely spectacular. Yes, had the most amazing time there. Some fantastic ladies and gentlemen. One gentleman in particular that caught even my eye. Really? Oh, oh yes. So it was just fabulous. So okay. that's, so that's, we won't that starts spoil on that. Wednesday. Starts on Wednesday, so yeah. all tune in. That is quite a series. And I, I'll be tuning into that, but I will surely <laughs> be tuning into BBC One at seven ten this Saturday because it's the Strictly launch show. The that launch. Let again. me tell you, that's the most unpredictable set of pairings I've ever seen really? on any show, particularly this one in 15 years. I mean, even I was sat there with Mopsy and it was like, I thought, well, this one will go with that. No, man, it went this way. So it's unpredictable. And I've got a funny feeling that's how the whole of this series is going to be. So Motsi is the new judge. She's Oti's sister. Correct. So, I mean, there's, you know, she's been working. I think, did you teach her or did well, you judge her? Well, I was an I used to judge her when she was a competitive dancer oh, and happened to be one of her best judges. She's just beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. Yeah. And she knows her trade inside and out. And we have the same sense of humour, so we're on the same page. So we've already... It just gels, it yeah, just it clicks, it just works. It's, it's funny, isn't it, though, because, you see, people get very used to, you know, the, the, looking the same, being the same. Darcy was amazing. Amazing. Um, but uh, with, uh, with Motsi coming in... You look down and people are very, very quick to criticise. Well, what does she know? What's she going to... Actually, she, she's judged before. Oh, she's judged. She's been on the German version of it. You know, she's out there and quite vivacious. I'm going to have Bruno on my left. I'm going to have Motsi on my right. And a good line-up. Uh, people like uh, Michelle Visage, uh, Annika Rice, Olympian James Cracknell. So uh, that you're thinking, ooh. Well, I saw quite a few people that when they came on the Lord show that had rhythm, that were moving and jumping about and doing this, that and the other, which I love. I love great energy. I mean, people know me as a technician, but I'm a bit of an overall. Mm. I like it overall. But I can only say that 
in all the years that I've ever done this or watched it, this is unpredictable when you pair these people up. Really? Oh, my goodness. So, so this, this new... Because you are... You're very honest. Um, I mean, you know your stuff, obviously, but you're very honest. Will being so loved up soften you slightly? Oh, <laughs> 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 yes! <laughs> No, I will What's keep it. What's you know... happened to you? <laughs> I can't even speak. She will keep it very professional. Is what she's trying very to say. Very professional. Just give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Your face went like the little love heart eye emoji. <laughs> then. <laughs> it's like, it's so sweet. Yes, I will be doing my job well, as will, will everybody on the panel. You yeah. know, and everybody will bring something unique and special. We're very, very excited about this series. Really, the launch show is spectacular. Our yeah. new executive producer, Sarah. She's just. Just beyond. beyond. Well, that's uh, that's on us, as uh, Holly said. That's on a Saturday, yeah, um, and it's lovely to see much. you. Um, we look <laughs> forward to, to Matchmaker you. Mountain, which you've done for us, is on on Wednesday. Yes, on this looking show. forward to that too. Thanks, Cher. Oh, so <laughs> nice to see you. Lovely to see you.